So this is the Nama Mountain so far. It's going crazy. Now this is the inverted subwoofer. Does inverting your subwoofers actually makes your bass more louder? What's the pros and cons about inverting your subwoofers? These are some frequently asked questions in the cardio community. So in today's video, I'll be revealing the secrets about inverting your subwoofers and how to invert your subwoofers the correct way and to properly set your amplifier settings for those inverted subwoofers. So make sure you guys drop a like on the video, subscribe if you guys are new, and let's drop right into the video. Gla. So I'll be getting this question frequently about why do people invert the subwoofers? The pros or some benefits of inverting your subwoofers is that it will give your box more cubic space versus from the normal mounted subwoofers with your subwoofer being mounted inside the box the subwoofer booty will be taking up more space inside the box so inverting your subwoofer will allow the box to have a little more cubic space and the next pro is that with inverting your subwoofer it will lower your tuning a bit on your enclosure so when i had my subwoofers mounted normally inside the box it was sounding okay but when i inverted my subwoofers i could have tell the difference when it comes to the lower frequencies being played on my subwoofers it was hitting more deeper next big benefit of inverting your subwoofers now is that it makes your subwoofer cool down a lot more faster so if your subwoofers be getting hot a pro tip is to invert your subwoofers so all the breeze flowing from outside will just be hitting onto the subwoofer making it cool down a lot more faster versus if you had your subwoofer mounted normally inside the box now and your subwoofer is getting hot all the heat will be trapped inside the box and some other small benefits of inverting your subwoofer is that it brings out the looks in your subwoofers and it also makes your wiring a lot more easier now for the cons about inverting your subwoofers now the two main cons i see about inverting your subwoofers is that it will require more room to mount your subwoofers inverted and the other con is that you will have a little bit of mechanical noise while your subwoofer is playing now i have two normal mounted subwoofers and i'll be giving you all a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to invert your subwoofers the correct way with the subwoofer all you guys are gonna do is just to flip the subwoofer upside down into the box just like that so that's all you guys have to do when it comes to inverting your subwoofer you will just flip your subwoofer upside down and not mount it normally onto the box and that's all you guys have to do but one thing i would have to tell you all you guys have to make sure that your subwoofer doesn't rub on the edge of the box otherwise you can damage your subwoofer easily so what you guys would want to do is to make sure that the cutout on your enclosure is big enough for your subwoofer otherwise you guys can just damage your subwoofer by rubbing it on the board so for here now we're just going to screw down our subwoofer normally And that's all for the inverted subwoofer now for the wiring your subwoofer part all you guys have to do is just wire your subwoofers normally when it comes to inverting your subwoofer you do not need to switch the polarity you do not need to switch anything with the subwoofer so here since i have a dual two ohm subwoofer i'll be wiring my subwoofer in series making my subwoofer to a final impedance of four ohms for series wiring we are going to jump the positive from one side of the subwoofer to the negative on one side of the subwoofer okay. we're gonna take the leftover negative and the leftover positive from the other side and the end just goes to our amplifier and that's all for the wiring as i say you guys don't need to switch the phase or polarity or anything with your inverted subwoofer but let's say now that you guys have multiple subwoofers and you guys want to mount your subwoofer normally and still inverted at the same time 
you guys will need to come on your amplifier or your external processor for your subwoofers and you guys will need to switch the phase to 180 degrees that's with if you guys have a normal mounted subwoofer and an inverted subwoofer running at the same time so you guys don't have an out of phase while your subwoofers are playing and you guys can get an accurate bass response now let's say that you guys have your subwoofers all mounted inverted yeah won't be any need for y'all to switch the phase on your bass processor or amplifier so when having your subwoofers all inverted you guys don't need to switch the polarity on your subwoofers or switch the phase or anything just wire your subwoofers normally and everything is gonna be okay so let's do a quick sound test with these subwoofers hooked up together i have these subwoofers wired in series parallel so since these subwoofers are two dual two ohm subwoofer the final impedance on these is gonna be at two ohms and remember to switch your phase to 180 degrees when you have a subwoofer normal mounted and an inverted subwoofer together so your subwoofers don't be out of phase So this is the normal mounted subwoofer. It's going crazy. Now this is the inverted subwoofer. Both are performing really great. Let's go. I've seen a lot more flexing with the normal mounted over an inverted subwoofer. But they are sounded really great though. Ooh, yeah, that way. Those were the two subwoofers, the normal multi subwoofer versus the inverted subwoofer. And the differences between both of these is that there won't be any changes in sound really. With the inverted subwoofer though, it will play a bit more lower than the normal multi subwoofer. But when it comes to DB wise, there won't be any big changes in DB wise. They will sound the exact same and they will perform the exact same hopefully you guys learned something from this video don't forget to drop a like on the video subscribe if you guys are new any support means a lot to me and you guys can also share this video with a friend to help him or her out great video by the way i'll be catching you guys in my next video love y'all guys peace